Hi guys! Today I wanted to share with you my Bitty Baby collection. So these are my two Bitty Babies. This is Toshua. I received her when I was, well, right before I turned two when my little brother was born. And yes, that's Toshua as in Joshua with a T in front of it. I was kind of weird with naming. So I have had her for 21 years. Right now she actually normally lives with my nephew. We got her right before um, his baby brother was born. And then this is Nina. I bought her maybe like five years ago, kind of as a replacement for Toshua since she wasn't normally with me so that I had somebody to wear all the clothing. And then this is Biddy Bear, who used to come with the Biddy Babies. So this Biddy Bear actually came with Toshua. And let me open up the cabinet and we can look at their outfits. So here's my American Girl brand Biddy Baby outfit. So first here is one of the meat sleepers, the lilac meat sleeper. It has Biddy Baby embroidered up there with a flower, some more embroidery. That one's really cute. This is a gardening outfit from the 90s. And I have a hat and a watering pail and some shoes that goes along with it. Here's my all-time favorite outfit. It's Valentine's dress. Little hearts and has a hat. Cardigan. And a little dress for Biddy Bear. They used to always make an outfit that matched for Biddy Bear. This is Toshua's meat outfit. The very first meat outfit for Bitty Babies. It has, oops, sorry about the shadow. It's little heart flowers. And here's Toshua's bib. Here's another meat sleeper. This one has embroidery on it again. And yet another meat sleeper. I like how this one opens at the side. Then I have Christmas dress, so some tights. Then the Christmas dress, which has embroidered roses. I think they're ribbon ro roses with embroidered leaves. Cute tartan sash. It does have a little stain on it. But that's okay. I normally just put the bear in her lap so that that's covered. And then her hat. And then for a while they made these outfits that came with like multiple pieces. So this one has a shirt with apples on it. A jacket. A jumper with apple embroidery. Capris. And a hat. And then another two-in-one set is this travel one, which has tights, a little shirt with um, Biddy Bear embroidered, a hat for Biddy Bear, a headband, jeans, a hoodie, and a dress. Then another 90s piece is this um, raincoat, rain hat, and little hat for Biddy Baby, I mean for Biddy Bear. And then last I have this little fall outfit with more embroidery, this shirt that has actual snaps and little pockets, a handkerchief, some socks and a handkerchief for Biddy Bear. And then Nina is currently wearing the apple picking outfit, which is my other favorite outfit. 
This next bin has all of my homemade outfits. So here's a nightgown prototype I made. So I used my own pattern for this one. I think it's pretty cute. Then I made a bunch using this pattern. I think it's a simplicity pattern. It's this little jumper with bloomers. And this one has kites all over it. And I made a tiny pinafore for Biddy Bear. A romper with whales. And another pinafore. Romper with sunshine and clouds and birds. And then for Biddy Bear. This time I did a little skirt for Betty Bear. And then there's a Paris themed jumper, white bloomers. Here's seahorse jumper, pinafore. And then this one I did two different sets of bloomers. So there's a dark blue one that matches. And then there's a longer light blue pair so that she can wear it when it's a bit cooler. And that can also match with this flowery one or a used purple one. I used a different pattern for this little jumpsuit. And then skirt for Biddy Bear. A romper with long pants for Biffy Baby and Bear. And then I have a couple diapers that my mom made for my Biddy Baby. And then I made this one out of felt. And then my sister made this sleep sack for Biddy Baby. So I put her in this when it's really nice and cold. And then she has a little bear hat. And then these are actually preemie clothes, but they fit pretty well. This one has a little puppy on it and says Mommy Sweetheart. And here's pants that match. There's a little dog on them. And then another onesie. Butterfly. This is a little wrap shirt. So it just wraps around. And then some sleep pants. And then the last bin has my accessories for my Betty Baby. So here's a couple ribbons that I use as headbands. Rocking horse that goes to the Christmas set. Hat for the gardening set and one for Betty Bear. Little feeding bowl. There we go. And this used to say pears. Her cup. And cereal. Here's it's stuck in there. There's a little mailbox goes with her Valentine's outfit. A leaf from one of her fall outfits. An apple from uh, the outfit that set that had all the apples. This goes with the gardening set. A little airplane from the travel outfit. And one of my favorites that I love to playing with this little wagon and then it has a little hay bale and this could actually attach to a tractor set that came with an outfit and then this is the base to the mailbox I lost the middle piece that connects the two so and then I have a little bug catching net couple bitty baby books book 
um, Bitty Baby outfits used to come with books that centered around Bitty Bear's adventures. So, Bitty Bear Picks Apples. This one's like a touch and feel book about Bitty Bear visiting a farm. Bitty Bear's Rainy Day Fun, which is a pop-up book. Bitty Bear's Fall Leaves, which is a coloring book. Bitty Bear's Spring Fun, another coloring book. Bitty Bear's Nature Crafts, which has some projects to do. My Travels with Bitty Bear, which is a like travel journal diary. Happy Holidays Bitty Bunch, which is another coloring book. And then in this Bitty Baby box, I basically keep all of my Bitty Baby shoes. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my Bitty Baby collection, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!